Hi there, Amy Star Allen here. And in this video today, I am gonna show you how to create an overlay that you can use on your live videos. I had this question come in yesterday from Brian inside of my Facebook group asking, what are you using to do your amazing graphics on your lives? And I told him I use Canva and he said, for your lives, I didn't know you could do that. Interesting. So I'll show you what he's talking about. So I went, so I went live in the group the other day oh, hello. and oops, let me pause this. So you can see on my live video, how I have this graphic that goes around the video. So this video was streaming live on Facebook and a couple of places on Facebook, as well as on YouTube. And it has this graphic in all of the places. So here it is on YouTube and you can see it also, it's paused now. So it's not as dark, but you know, if you play the video, you can see. That's, that's my biggest take. Anyway, so I use these graphics when I'm doing live videos. And so I'm gonna show you guys how I do this. Now, before I show you how I actually create the graphic, which I do in Canva, I have to say that um, I use StreamYard for all of my live videos. You can see that up here. So StreamYard allows me to upload an overlay. And the other thing I love about StreamYard is it lets me go live on up to three platforms at a time. So I like this because I can stream live on YouTube and a couple of different places on Facebook all at once. So I love that about it. So if you are streaming live directly from Facebook, I'm not sure that this, you'll be able to add an overlay. I, I never do that, so I'm not familiar with that. I did look at Zoom. And so some people use Zoom to stream live on Facebook and so forth. And um, so Zoom, you can upload your overlay, but it uploads it, it doesn't put it around the video, it has it as a background. So let me show you what that looks like real quick, just so that you're, you know, and then I'll show you how to make the overlay. So here it is uploaded onto Zoom. And if I come to my, here and I, I unclick the mirror, so you can see, so now it's not mirrored, so it's facing the right way, but I'm kind of blocking it because it's using it as a background. So it doesn't look as good as the way it looks on StreamYard, but you can still do this if you wanted to on Zoom. Okay, so I just wanted to point that out so that you're aware of what platforms this works on. Again, I'm not sure if you stream live directly to Facebook or YouTube, if you can add one of these. I never do it that way. I always use StreamYard and I love StreamYard. Um, the other thing I love about StreamYard is it allows me to bring on a bunch of people with me. It's just a really great platform. So if you're interested in learning more about StreamYard, I will provide a link to that below this video. And now let me show you how to create an overlay. Okay, so here I am inside of Canva. And so what you would do is just do a search for overlay. And then for whatever reason, it's called a Twitch webcam overlay. So you just click on that. And it's gonna bring up all of these different options for overlays. Here's the one that I made. You can see it here in Canva. And so basically what I did was I created this and then I downloaded it with a transparent background so that all of this white space is transparent. So when it puts it on top of my video, you can still see the video. So you'll see all of these different templates for overlays and you can literally just choose whichever one you like. I'll add a page just to kind of show you how this works. So like if I wanted to do this one, you know, I can choose this one and then everything is editable. So like if you wanted to, you know, put your name here and if you wanted to change out the cut that, you know, the color of the font, you know, you, everything is editable in Canva. So maybe you don't like these dots or whatever, like you can change anything that you want. So you would just get the, you know, and then you can try um, replace current page. So you can try different ones just to see what they look like. Here's one similar to what I did. I think I what I did was I took this and I moved it to the bottom and then I added an element on top of it up here that says live. That's just an element. So you can see like this is very similar to this. It's just I moved mine to the bottom of the screen and then I just changed this stuff out where it says really great site, really great site, whatever. I put in my own stuff 
And all of these elements are, you can find them inside of Canva as well. So like this live stream here, I just went under elements and looked for live stream, right? And then I can just drag this over here and I can even change out the colors. I wanted it to be on brand for me. So I changed the red out to one of my brand colors. So you can tweak this however, however you want. And then here where I put this live in the corner, I did that the same way. I just clicked on like live and then found, I don't know which one I used. Looks like it's just this one. So, you know, if you wanted to have that on your screen. And then again, I changed the color out to match my brand color. And then the background, you know, right now it's this purple color, but I'm going to make it transparent. So that doesn't really matter. And then like the color of this, you can see um, it has these colors. You can change out these colors as well. So again, I have mine, my brand color fading into white. So you can, you know, all of this is editable. So all you would do is get it the way that you want it inside of Canva. And then when you go to download it, you want to make sure that you click on transparent background because that's what's going to make it download without any of this white space so that when you put it on top of your video, it you'll still see your video through it. Now, in this case, I've got two different pages here because I just was showing you guys a separate one. So if you're, you know, if that's the case, you want to make sure you know, in this case, if I was downloading this new one, I would select page two, done, and I would download it to my computer. Then when I want to go live on StreamYard, I'll show you where I can upload that. And you only have to upload it once to StreamYard, and then it'll be there every time you go live, which is awesome. So here I am in my StreamYard account. So if I want to create a broadcast, you know, I get to pick like where I want to stream. So let's say I want to stream in these different places on Facebook and on YouTube. And then um, I'll just put demo for my title and description. And then create broadcast. And then I'm going to enter the studio. And then you see it automatically added my background. Here, let me add myself. So you can see now I'm there and it automatically added my background. So it's just going to be there. But the way that you upload it is you come under brand and in your brand, you get to show, you know, you get to choose all this stuff. Like if I, if I didn't want the overlay and I just wanted my name on the screen, I could show my display name and get rid of the overlay, right? That's an option. But under overlay, I get to pick which overlay I want. And I did a couple. One has, you know, my name. The other one says Affiliate Marketing Junkie. So depending on what I want to do, I have um, different options of overlays. I can get rid of my display name since it's already there. So if you want to upload um, an overlay to StreamYard, you would just come over to overlay and see where it says add overlay. You would just click that. And then you would choose your overlay from your computer upload it and then click show. So I uploaded, that's the, the one that was already there. So it's, or this one now has my name on it. So that's how easy it is to upload it. And then when you go live, it'll keep your settings from the last time you went live. So if you had it the last time, it'll automatically be there. And if not, anything that you have uploaded, you can just come down here and you can see these are all hidden. But if I wanted to switch it out, you know, this is the default one that comes with StreamYard, but I can switch it out to any of the ones that I've uploaded. And then when I click go live, I'm going to go live on Facebook and YouTube and it's going to automatically show this overlay. And that's it. So as you can see, it's very, very simple to do. I love Canva. It does graphics for pretty much anything we could possibly need. And so um, anyway, that's how you do an overlay for your live videos. I hope this has been helpful. If you want to come hang out with us inside of my public Facebook group where that question came from, I will provide a link to it below. I have a Facebook group called Online Growth Hacks for Entrepreneurs where I do a lot of different training for online marketing tips and tricks and stuff like that and people can ask questions in there. 
So I'll provide a link to that below this video if you'd like to come over there and join us. And then if you'd like to work with me on a closer level, I have a private Facebook group where I work with people more closely for their specific businesses, for people that join my team. And inside of that group, I'm doing more specific support for people with whatever business they're building, where I can go in there and help them build their funnels and all kinds of stuff like that. The tools and training that we have inside of our platform are there to help people to build a business, any business that they're building. So whether it's a network marketing business or if they have their own products or brick and mortar, it doesn't matter. We have an amazing funnel builder and a lot of really good marketing training that helps people build anything. And so anybody that joins with me as you know, through my affiliate link, I have a private Facebook group where I support people and I help people with the specifics of their funnels and all of the stuff that goes alongside of building any business. So if you're interested in getting my support in that way, as well as just getting a ton of incredible tools and training to help you build your business, I'll leave a link below this video as well that's going to give you access to the all-in-one business. And what you're going to get inside of that is, again, access to me, but also you're going to get an incredible funnel builder and a ton of, we do 11 masterminds every week where you can jump on like a live Zoom and get any support that you need. It's all optional. You don't have to come to 11 per week, but it's a great place to come and have all of the support that you could possibly need building your business. And then you're also going to get access to some incredible residual income streams as an affiliate if you choose to do that as well. So I'll leave a link to that below this video as well. I'll also leave my link to StreamYard if you're interested in learning more about that and um, to Canva if you want to learn more about Canva. So I hope this has been helpful. If you have any other questions, let me know and I'll see you guys in the next video.